What's up guys? Welcome back to another Diesel Dog video. I got another tool haul for y'all. See what we got in our box of goodies here. All right. This is gonna be a short one. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but I got a few things here in uh, recent months that I figured I'd share. Uh, a couple things that I bought um, using our tool allowance. We got a negotiated tool allowance in our union contract, so we do get a little bit of, to spend on some toys and stuff here and there. Um, I had to replace some sockets and a wrench, snap-on, which that was not fun buying that stuff twice, but you lose stuff here and there. It happens, so I got some new stuff here I also bought. I'll show you what I got here. First things first, got a new light. I bought a macro light. I showed you in one of my tool hauls a while back, magnetic light that came off from uh, the magnetic pedestal. So you can take the light and shine it and then stick it back on. And didn't like it. Battery didn't last long. And once that ball on that pedestal got dirty, which it did most times using it, then it wouldn't stick very well. So I didn't use it very long. And here's my replacement. The guy, uh, Snap-on guy sold me on it, but this is the ECARD062G magnetic light it is a wand like so. So you can, I'm gonna try not to blind you guys in the camera, but it's got a button here. There's one side, hit it twice, or the other, hit it three times, and you got both sides. And you can, uh, and then I wanna see, yeah. So you can stick it on the hood or, you know, you're underneath doing a clutch on a big truck. You can just like stick it to the bottom and uh, shine it straight that way if you want. Or you've got the straight light like that. You know, you hang it there and then you can do your thing. So I'm trying it out. I've been using it a few weeks now. It's already getting dirty, but so far I like it. So far I like the long magnetic strip. And mostly I've just been using the long magnetic strip like that. Um, sticking it mostly on like working on the Super Duties and pickup trucks and stuff. I can stick it on there and it shines pretty bright down on uh, whatever I'm working on. So, so far I like this. Someone had something negative to say about it in a short I posted. Um, some people said that they liked it. So, so far I like it. The battery seems to get you know it's brand new so i got about eight hours out of it i think or seven hours or something I wasn't paying too much attention but it was most of the day on a job so so far so good i can actually clear that box now uh what else we got some pliers off the snap-on truck i've been trying out i got some strippers and crippers just this little guy um getting in tight spaces i've got a regular blue point stripper and crimper but the crimpers are in like the handle the strippers are up top and getting in tight spaces like when you get a bundle of wires and you're putting them all together or like putting in a pigtail or something it's hard to like swing that thing through to crimp the wire like that so i wanted something where the crimpers were at the top so basically all my wiring i've been doing i've been using the blue point strippers getting everything going and then when I'm going back together, I'm using these to crimp my connectors. So it's working out pretty good. Use insulated uh, heat shrink connectors. I don't use just regular butt connectors. We use the heat shrink ones. So um, this, those work pretty good. And so far, so good with these little guys. I like them. Not too bulky and they're getting in tight spaces and seem to work pretty good. The other two things I got now, I was hating on these things when I first saw them on, on uh, Instagram and stuff just because everyone was going wild over them and I didn't understand, but these uh, these needle nose that Snap-on decided to make, I got the small ones and I got the big ones. Uh, I don't know no particular reason for the coloring. It's just what I grabbed off there. I got a green, I'm assuming that's green. One time I said something was yellow and they said it was green. Um, colorblind. So, so this one is the LN47 ACF and this one is the LN46 ACF. 
Uh, they got the uh, adjustable on there. These are the pliers you've been seeing if you're on Instagram and on the socials. You've been seeing people pick up uh, nickels with them on the side, like on the very tip, laying flat. They take it and pick it up. I should have grabbed a nickel to demonstrate, but it doesn't matter. So basically what he, my Snap-on dealer did, was he put a penny in one of them and he put, gave me the other ones and said, you know, grab on to that penny and pull as hard as you can. And he sat there like this and I barely was giving it, you know, the old squeeze and they did not budge off that penny. So I'm like, I mean, I suppose I'll take them. So I had some money to spend. I got these two um, and I haven't even touched my other needle nose. I've been grabbing these and these have worked pretty good. Uh, this one worked pretty good for a couple pet cocks and uh, some radiators I used for uh, these four. So, so far so good. I like them. I'll probably actually maybe just keep these in the box and take my other needle nose. I got two, a longer and shorter needle nose. I may take them home just to keep here because I really don't need that many needle nose. I think these will uh, suffice. I got a bunch of other pliers that I use more than my needle nose. So uh, the other thing I got off the Snap-on truck was a new battery cleaner. I didn't open it. I assumed this thing was going to be the brush, the uh, bristle, you know, brush in there. And it's not, it's got like the flat grinders in there to, it's like freaking potato peeler reminds me of. So uh, I used it already once and I guess it's all right, but I'm probably going to end up buying. I like, I prefer the kind with the, the wire bristle on the end and, and clean it that way. So that's what I got from Snap-on. Uh, also off Amazon, I ordered a couple things for the 6.0 Power Strokes. I can't remember if I already showed this thing, but this is for getting your injector connectors out of the head. You stick this on there and you can push it through um, when you're pulling injectors off out of a 6.0 power stroke. So otherwise they got little tabs you can get in there with a screwdriver and like pull one down. Some people I've seen use like sockets to go over there, but I found the tool on Amazon for pretty cheap. Just search 6.0 uh, injector tool and this will come up. And I got this one a while back. That's why I can't remember if I put it in another video. But the other thing I got was this. This is for pulling the glow plug connectors off the glow plugs also on 6.0 power strokes. Um, I have fought those things with screwdrivers and whatnot. And I've even used uh, one of my uh, trim panel tools that got in there sometimes. And then another guy that used to work at the shop a while back gave me one of his tools to borrow. He had something similar to this, not the exact same one, and it worked pretty good. So I had to get my own. So I, I ordered that finally um, not too long ago. So I'm just keeping them both in the same, in the same deal here. Swag, performance, and off-road is where I got uh, one of these anyways. Good tools to have if you work on 6.0 power strokes. Look these up and and grab those. Uh, the number on these crimpers is a PWC SS7 ACF. If anyone's interested in that, I didn't say it before. But there you go, guys. That's my little tool haul tonight. Nothing major. Not a long video, but <clears throat> some guys are interested in seeing, uh, you know, kind of the stuff I'm buying. I'm pretty well stocked up. I don't really buy a whole lot. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm buying lately is like kind of specialty stuff rather than just like sockets and wrenches and, and whatnot. So the stuff I get is not, uh, a whole lot anymore. It's kind of few and far between, but when I do get a few things, I usually, like I've said, I like to use things a little, you can see these are all getting dirty. I like to use stuff a little bit before I do a tool haul. That way I can say, you know, if I like it or not and how it's working out instead of, Hey, look at this stuff I spent money on and... And it's just kind of what I've decided I, I'd start doing. So I don't know why I keep opening this. I don't need it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. It is Sunday night. I'm getting ready to go to bed so I can go back to work tomorrow, Monday morning. Work on the old turbo diesels. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Any comments or concerns, leave a comment down below. 
Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video.